Hello everyone, this video explains how to upload rental products on your website created by rentalsetup.com. When you get to the create page, you will see two columns. First notice the checkboxes in the headers of the column. Now notice the select buttons in each column. The reason why there are two columns is because they represent the two different scheduling options you can display to the customers when they make the job. This is the example of the time input element. The customer is able to enter the exact time of the transaction. This is an example of the calendar longer term input scheduling area. The customer is able to pick a day on the calendar of when the event is and they're able to pick the delivery day and the customer is able to choose a time slot you can customize the time slots you should know that there's an option to not show any scheduling options at all you can just show the product and there can be a contact form check out other videos to see more features and request more if you want to see more about how this works the checkboxes indicate which products will have an add to cart button on the product page. The section or column that has the checkbox checked means that all the products that were made in that section, the check section, will have the add to cart button. Products that were made in the section where the currently unchecked boxes will still be shown the scheduling input area or order form on the product page by default. If you see a checkbox, that means that the products made in that section will show the add to cart button and no form. So you can change which products have a form on the product page by using the checkboxes. You don't have to worry about which side to create your products in if you want to show a customer a constant scheduling option. If you want to show long-term checkout form, just create products on this side. Don't create products on this side. If you want to display the exact time input element, create products on this side. We give you the option of both in case you want to switch things up. I want to show you an example. I created a product on this side, the time-sensitive rental side. The product looks like this. You can see the exact time input area. You can also see on the create page that the side the product was created in was unchecked. Now I'm going to check the checkbox for the time rental side, the side that the product was created in. And now I'm going to go back to the product page and you will see that the form, the time input area is not there. The add to cart button is now there. Let's say you want to know in which column a product was made. For that, you can go to the products page. On this page, you will see a list of products. Each product is assigned a term called product style. For products that have the product style 2, the number 2, it means that those products were made in the time sensitive display section, the column that's on the right. A product that says product style 1 means that it was created in the left column, the longer term scheduling display product. Now let's talk about creating the product. You can see that there are four types of products. The product style you choose can affect how the product will be displayed on the product page. If your product is simple, you can go with the standard product. If you have a big asset like a large excavator or an inflatable obstacle course, you might want to use the standard rental product. So click on the select button in that section if you want to create that product. The next type of product is a specific variant type of product. For example, of the specific variant type of product, let's say you rent out gym equipment and you have a lot of treadmills of a specific model. You can display all treadmills for the specific model or brand on the product page. You can show the image of the different variants of a product and the customer can select the, the variant you will transfer to them. So if you have different wear and tears on a treadmill, 
you can show the different treadmills and you can show different pricing if you want to use that style of pricing and display to the customer click on the select button next to the product style that says variance the next product style is a larger quantity item use this style if you want to have a price discount table on the product page this is great for smaller type of items you can show how much an item will cost based on how much they buy so for example let's say silverware forks you can make it so that if the customer orders less than 10 forks the order will be two dollars for example and if the order orders the quantity of 11 to 20 pieces of forks it can cost one dollars and fifty cents a piece the customer will see the quantity ranges and the prices for the ranges on the product page the next product is a sales type of product so for example if you rent out a bouncy house you can also sell soda or plates these items don't need to be transferred back to you i'm gonna show you how to set up a simple big ticket product this product is going to be an excavator. I click on the button create in the standard product style section. A dialog box shows up and I can enter in the details. I enter in the name, the description, the image, and the price per day. Remember it's a longer rental product so you'll see a daily pricing option. The other type of product style, the short term rental, will give you options for hourly and minutes for pricing. I did not have a construction category set up so you can watch me make one. In this section you can decide if you want to show extra product images and maybe a carousel of images. This section you can upload two YouTube videos or two full width main images on the product page. This section is where you can upload a waiver so customers can sign it. Think of a liability waiver. This section is where you can set up overbooking, mitigation detection, and reaction. This has to do with checking if there is enough inventory for the day of the job. This section gives you a list of products that you can attach to the product we are creating so customers can see the attached product on the product page and maybe they'll buy or rent that product while they're checking out the product page that we're creating now. So you can click on the create product button and the page will be created. You saw several examples in this video on what the product page looks like. If you want any customizations to the page email me at jack at rentalsetup.com